<laughs> all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and share the link and don't forget to download the video especially those who they are from indonesia please and if you can add subtitle that will be wonderful uh, uh there is a you know sometime muhammad and they post for me comments and uh, this is one of them and maybe i think they think i did not answer because i don't have answers or something uh, this guy, his name, Wahyu Nur Ehsan. Wahyu Nur Ehsan, as you see in the screen, and he say Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. I mean, uh, he made it look like a train. Uh, you should make a, you should make a separation, my friend. You, you are you are insulting Allah by doing that. What Bismillah? This is a train. This is not Bismillah Rahman Rahim. But anyway, this Muhammadan. He made a post and by his post he proved to us that Islam not only false Islam is a stupid cult and Muslims do not believe in Islam so I'm going to go on like his post is really long very long I mean we cannot read it really all but I will give you the summary look I mean I need maybe uh, uh, if you want to go over it I need maybe like two hours three hours to read it so I mean, read and answer every everything he posted, but we will take it short, and we will show you how fu how funny this Mohammedan is. And I don't think even he understand what he posted, because this is not his writing. I think this somebody else is copying an article from somewhere. But look at the, this long, long, long post. All of this to prove to us that Jesus was not a crucified. All right, I will start from the beginning a little bit, so we can get an idea about this uh, uh, this post. Crucifixion is a punishment by slowly killing, by hanging on a cross bar to die. It does not, if it does not die, then it's not a crucifixion. Okay. If it did not die, it's not a crucifixion. You just confirm that this is must be crucifixion then. I was planning to go from the end, but just for the love. Because I can answer it from the Quran immediately, but just for the sake of love. Let's read. We review from the beginning. Who is the barrier of the of Jesus cross? Maybe this is a trivial thing, but it is of, of scriptures uh, that writes contradictions like this when very tarnishing, tarnishing it is a sensitivity. Mark 15 21. At this time, a man named Simon or Simon, uh, the Kyrenian, uh, and the father of the Alexander, etc., etc. And there he says, and then in the Luke chapter 23, verse number 26, when they took Jesus, they arrested a man named Simon, and uh, supposedly he carried the cross. And then he's in the continue, and this is in Matthew chapter 27, verse number 32. They walked uh, out of the city. They met a man. His name is etc. And then, please read carefully. Uh, Marks and Luke and Matt, Matthew have the same story about Simon, the one who carried the cross, but it is different. Written in John, John nineteen seventeen, it says, "Carrying his cross, he went to out to the place called uh, the skull, which means the Juljula." Now here you see the funny Muslims. You see, one of uh, the, the the point of this man who carried the cross because supposedly Jesus was humiliated and he cannot carry it no more. So it doesn't mean he did not carry the cross. He carried the cross. As you see, when they arrive out of the city, they found that man. So all the way in the city, Jesus is the one is carrying his cross, and this is a very heavy cross. So when he cannot carry the cross no more, they force a man. So when John here report that. He carried the cross until al uh, uh, or the skull. He has just given us a short uh, uh, ending without details about what happened between. So here the Muslim he tried to say, but this is not what it says there. However, what is that will will tell us? Let us read more. Marcus and Luke and Matthew uh, versus Johanna. Which verse is correct? All of them. All of them as an example in the Quran it says that an angel came to Mary 
and he told her you will have a gift of a holy son different verse in the Quran says angels they came to Mary and they told her you will have a gift of a holy son so which one is correct are you going to say now are, are, are you going to run from your logic so what you will say to me well here because only one angel he spoke and there may be uh, uh, but no it says the angels told her which mean all the angels they spoke so one story says one angel the other story says angel so which one is correct I can let it go and say okay the, in the, one verse has given us more details the other verse is not giving us too much details this is new Quran so this is how silly the Muhammad and when to try to prove a point and then which verse is correct Jesus is the the, the cross or uh, of the cross itself what does that mean I'm, I'm not understand his English uh, or it is the one who carried Jesus across you see you are the one who is carrying for us verses why you don't read as an example you are the one who posed for us Matthew 27 why you did not read the rest of Matthew 27 and then we will understand but because you are a hypocrite you decide not to read it because if you read then we will understand because both John and Matthew and Luke and Mark all of them confirm that the one who was in the cross and the one who carried the cross it was Jesus if that guy in the way he carried for some time does not mean he Jesus did not carry the cross that's very silly of you same time as long as you are trying to prove to us from Mark 15 Luke 23 Matthew 27 that Jesus was not crucified why you don't post each one of those chapters says that Jesus was crucified. So you quote only a verse to say there is a guy he carried the cross in the way. And hey guys, when we when they took this guy for execution, uh, there's a taxi driver. He took us in the way. It must be then the taxi driver is getting killed. If we go to Matthew 27 as an example, just to show everybody how stupid what you are posting for us. And by the way, this is not my answer for you. The answer is coming. Because you Muslims, it doesn't matter what we show you from the Bible, still you will not accept anyway. I mean, what the point? But just to get you busted, this is Matthew 27. All of Matthew 27 confirm that Jesus was crucified. But you decide to quote for us a verse. Let us listen together for Matthew 27. Or maybe it's too long. Let us go. Let us go a little bit. If you see here that in Matthew 27, they are saying that they arrested Jesus. Who is the one they got arrested? Jesus. Who is the one who was in the front of the court? Jesus, even in your post, by the way, you, you admit that it says that. Who is the one they question him? You said Jesus. Who is the one was insulted in the course? It was Jesus. So court and priest. And thousands of people witnessing, and then they, they did not recognize who Jesus. But just to make it short, so everybody will laugh at you. In Matthew 27, who was there during the crucifixion? Remember, you are the one who posed this verse, so you cannot say, I don't want. I don't want this verse. Right? Who was there during the time of the crucifixion? His disciples. In different verses, it says that Jesus, he spoke to his mother. And he said to one of his disciples, this is your son and this is your mother. So the mother of Jesus was standing there, yet she could not recognize Jesus. Do you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity? So why are you all quoting for us? If we go, uh, you know, to read the quotation of a Mohammedan, and try to understand what he's trying to to say to us the answer is very simple he quote verse from here verse from there verse from here he jumped like a monkey 
in order to come with his own conclusion that Jesus was not crucified. Right? So did you accomplish your mission? No. Because your Quran got you busted. You quote for us, John, let us go back to your post. So everybody will laugh. You are the one who posts for us John 1917. Not me. Right? Okay, if we go to John 1917, what we will find? Shall we go to John 19? Let us go. Hold on. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. The disaster is not here. You know, I don't really I uh, know I'm not I'm not explaining the Bible for him I know that he knew that he is lying and just explain to the Christians so they learn how to answer When the Muslims they try to fool you This is John 19 <clears throat> We put it in the front of you in the screen All right What happened? You post for us, John 19. If we go down a little bit, we will find the following. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister. So you are trying to convince us that it's not Jesus who was there. And you say to us the story in John is different about who uh, who carried the cross. One verse proved to us that all the Muslims' propaganda and stupidity is amazing. His mother and his aunt is there, and both of them they did not recognize that this is not Jesus. Remember, they stood next to the cross. Which means this is after they hang him in the cross, not before. Then the soldier, when they had to crucify Jesus, they took his garment and they made four part of every for a soldiers, apart also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, etc. And then Therefore, among themselves, let etc. So you can read. I mean, the, the important for me that we see that the mother of Jesus in the front of the cross, and yet this is not Jesus, because according to this Abdul post, that it is not Jesus who was crucified. The Christians they have to come because he caught for us at the end of his post. Let us go there, just for a laugh again. At the end of his long post, he said, well, it says in the Bible, if Jesus' crucifixion was not real, that means all our faith is in vain. But isn't it all the Bible confirm? He posted for us 1 Corinthians 15, 14. But the same chapter you are posting for me confirmed that Jesus was crucified. Every chapter you post in this Long crazy article confirmed that Jesus was a crucified. Now it's time to get you busted from your religion. I don't care really you believe in the Bible or not. Obviously, you are brainwashed and you are being silly. The whole Bible says clearly that we believe that Jesus was a crucified. Now, if we go in the Quran, the Quran will get you busted with no mercy. Get ready for a spanking. This is the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 55. This is your Muslim translation, not our translation. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, change the translation into uh, 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 Indonesian a little bit later, so those who speak uh, Indonesian they can read with us. I do not know why it says Indonesian. I don't speak Indonesian, you know. But the story in the front of us. 
in the Quran it says وَإِذَا قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيْ وَمُطَهِّرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَجَائِلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Translation Here you will see how the Muslims they try to fabricate the translation. In Arabic it says إِنِّي متوفيك. What متوفيك mean? I'm causing your death. Do you see anywhere it says I'm causing your death? It's gone. Change the translation. This is Hilali and Khan. Let us go to Arbery. I will take thee to me and will raise thee to me. Where is the death? Where, where causing the death? It is gone. Change the translator. <laughs> Different translation. Shakir. Is that Shakir? Let us see. No, this is uh, Dutch. Uh, Itani. Let us see Itani. We never tried this guy. Look at this. Itani. Oh, Jesus, I'm terminating your life and raising you to me. Muhammad Itani. So the Quran says that in order for Jesus to go up to heaven, First, Allah have to terminate his life. And as you see, this is your Muslim translation. Which means the Quran confirm that Christ, before he went to heaven, he died and he was resurrected. So the silly stupid you, you spend all this time to write this article, quoting verse from there, verse from here to play with it. It doesn't work. Here we go, Allah is spanking you and leaving his five finger in your bum. So what we see in this verse, and this is a chapter 3, verse number 55, as you see, this verse confirming one thing, that Jesus did not go to heaven without his life being terminated. Who is the one saying that? Allah. And here you need, you need to ask yourself, why in other translation they took these things off? Do you need to ask yourself? Aitani is a Muslim Sunni. And I believe he's Lebanese. Why Aitani is lying? You know what? Maybe Aitani is a liar. Because all of them, they lie. So let us change to different translation, brother. Maybe this guy is a shish kebab liar. Maybe he worked for a Christian prince. Maybe Christian prince paid him. Hmm? So let us go to different translation. Which one? Let us choose different one. Mo Dudi. We will take Mr. Dudi. By the way, I did not read the translation before. I don't remember. I mean, okay. Jesus, I will recall you or raise you. What recall you? This is what it says. You see? The word terminating your life is gone. The verse here translation saying, Hey Jesus, I'm going to call you in Viber. Answer my WhatsApp. What happened to Motuafika? Change the translator just to show you how they try to fabricate in order to deceive you. You cannot, you cannot trust Muhammadan translating. Translation. Mubarak Kuburi. I don't know where is this guy from. Oh, remember when Allah said, Oh Isa, I will I will raise take you and raise you to myself. Where is it? Where is the word mutawafika? I'm going to cause your death. It's gone. Okay. Different translation. Hmm? Uh, Big tal. Lou, I'm gathering thee. Why? Jesus was pieces? What do you mean gathering thee? What do you mean gathering? Where is the word mutawafika? It's gone. And causing thee to ascend to me. To, to me. Look, where is the, where is the word mutawafika? It's gone. Go to different verse, different translator. It's a joke. It is a total joke. 
You see, all, all of those I never try. Uh, 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 Karari, this guy is a curry, Mr. Curry. Okay. I shall take your soul. Look at this idiot. This guy support. He is smarter than the rest. I shall take your soul. That means you will kill him. And when you take the soul of somebody, you just left the body there. <laughs> support this guy is a smarter. He don't want to say, I'm going to cause your death. So he said, I will take your soul. And then shall I raise you? Okay, Allah raised the body alone and the soul alone. Is that how Amazon they do shipping these days? So Allah took his soul first and then raised his body. Well, oh, what? This is stupid. So in order to cover up the Quran saying, I'm going to cause your death, they start playing all the games. The front translation. Let us go to different one. It is a total comedy. Uh... Karababula the and the wish those guys they are doing work together Okay Look, I will take you to me and raise you. Where is the world with Ofika? It's gone Totally gone So we have to keep changing and you will notice few of them they are honest saying the truth that I will cause your death Sahih International Look, Sahih International the death of Jesus never mentioned Oh, I, when Allah said oh Jesus indeed I will take you and raise you to myself Where is Mutawafika? It's gone Let us try a different one what we can do Sarwar, let us see Sarwar. Hmm. Here we go. Again, the world Mutawafika is gone. So what happened? All of them, all of them, they are trying to hide the truth. Let us see Shakir. If, 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 if. Look, guys, look. Here... I'm going to terminate the period if you stay in earth. <laughs> Causing your so the other translator he said, I'm going to terminate your life. This guy is a smarter. So he 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 add, he said, I'm going to terminate your period, you stay in the earth. Terminate your period. But he said, I will take you to me. By taking him anyway. Uh, He's, th he's there in heaven. What, what do you mean terminate? Where it says terminate? And if you go to the interpretation, as an example, if you go to Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir in English is totally different from Ibn Kathir in Arabic, and I will show you and I will get them busted. This is Ibn Kathir in English for the same verse we are talking about. <clears throat> in the whole translation, There's nothing what is mentioned in Arabic. If we go to Arabic, Ibn Kathir. This is the Arabic Ibn Kathir. This is library.islam web. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. At Tafsir, tafsir Ibn Kathir, Tafsir al Quran. Tafsir al okay wonderful what an Ibn Kathir saying you will not believe it Ibn Ishaq Ibn Isaac he said that the Christians they claim that Allah he caused his death for seven hours then he took him back but this is stupid the Christian don't believe in that the Christian believe in three days and then from Idris from Wahab said Idris from Wahab said Allah caused his death for three days then he resurrected him then he took him up to heaven who is the one saying that the Muslim scholars and this is the book of the Kathir page number 47 but look in English we could not find that it's gone I cannot find it I'm going to do Google translation. 
All right. I'm going to go Google Translation and let's see what Google Translation say. And right away you will see what I'm talking about. Google Translation. All right. <clears throat> Let us see. Page, you see here because when translation happened, okay, here we go. He passed away uh, three hours of the day God raised him. This is who said Ibn Ishaq, and then okay, the Christian said seven hour, okay, and then from Ibn is from Ibn Ishaq Ibn Bishr, from 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 Idris he says he died for three days. You see translation here is stupid. And then Allah he rose him to him three days. And this is the Arabic for those who read Arabic. In Allah Amatahu Tharatha Ayam Thumma Bathahu Thumma Rafahu Allah caused his death three days and then he resurrected him. And then he took him up to heaven. Now, in the Quran, there is verses speaking that Allah either he either he caused your death during the sleep, or he either he caused your death when in the daytime, which is very stupid. I mean, there's other option. <laughs> Seriously, there's a third option. <laughs> brother Allah he caused our death either when we are asleep or when we are brother uh, awake okay but there is no other option my friend that's it what do you mean either either if you see here you will see this is Ibn Kathir if we go back Allah yatawaffal anfusa hina mawtiha Okay, the word yatawaffa is the same as the one used with the verse of Jesus Wahawa alladhi yatawaffakumu bil-layl The same word, mutawaffika, causing your death Let us go to the Quran so we can love together Just for the sake of love Okay. The word yatawafun. This is the word mutawafi yatawafa. All of them it says die. Chapter 2, verse number 82 81. Summa tuwafia or tuwafa. Here it's coming as like. Allah will give you like the return, but the word tawaffa usually uh, it's about death. You see it, and those who die and leave wives behind, yatawafuna. All right. So the word yatawafa always come as causing death, and Allah is the one who. Cause the death of people when they are in sleep. Let us see. Chapter 6, verse number 16. It is he who take your soul. What is the word take your soul? Yatawafa. It's in the front of us. So what the verse saying to Jesus? Oh Jesus, I'm going to cause wafat for you. 
and then I will raise you to myself. And here the verse comes from. And it is he who take your soul, Yatawaffa, at the night in sleep, which is very stupid. And he knows what you acquire in the day when he raise you. The Muslim they say, well, in Islam we believe that uh, when you sleep you are dead. <coughs> No, the verse here says Allah He caused your death and then Allah will resurrect it to you to Him. He take your soul as you say, He take your soul. It is Allah who take your soul at the time of their death and those that die not during their sleep. Which means in the daytime. So either during sleep or during daytime. So the Quran confirmed that Jesus, Allah will cause his death. Now we go to something more horrible. When this guy, he tried to prove to us that the one who was in the cross was the one who carried the cross maybe. Based on his long post, who is the one carried across this guy? Okay, look what the Quran said. <clears throat> Chapter 4, verse 157. And I want this Abdul to listen. Because now I'm going to add another five fingerprint in, in the other side of his bum. According to Quran, that the one who was in the cross looked exactly like Jesus, not someone they met him in the way and he carried the cross. There's no way that the one who was in the way looked exactly like Jesus. It's not what your God said. So look what the Quran confirmed to us. And they're saying, surely, have they have we have killed the Messiah? So what the Jews confirm? The Jews confirm that they killed the Messiah. They did not kill someone look like him. They say we killed the Messiah. And this is your Quran saying that. This is not me. The Quran confirm that the Jews says we killed the Messiah. Number two. And they did not kill him, nor they crucify him, but it appeared to them between two brackets, the translation ad, translator ad, like Isa. Okay, look what happened here. Your God now he just gave you the other five print print of your his fingers in the bomb in the other side of your bomb. Because what the Quran confirmed that there is a crucifixion and there's a death, and the death happened. For someone look exactly like Jesus. In other words, Allah He cloned someone like Jesus. It's not a mistake. It is not an incident. It was the plan of Allah. So in your post, you try to say to us the Christian they were able to save Jesus, but this is what it says. The Quran says they crucified Jesus, and even when you quote for me, John, Abdul, if you remember. The mother of Jesus was standing there. And not only that, in the top of the cross, they wrote, this is the king of the Jews. This is Jesus of the Nazareth. They are even giving you from where he is coming from. The king of the Jews. So they put the wrong man, yet they think he is the king of the Jews. And this man, the, the, the soldiers, they accompany him during the court. They witness him and they insult him even in the court. And then they insult him when he took him to jail. And even they took his clothes off. And yet those men, the same men, they did not recognize that this is not Jesus. So what the Quran confirmed to us, that 
Nobody was able to know that this is not Jesus because Allah, he made him look exact like Jesus. And here we will find the stupidity of this statement. Why? Because now if we believe in a cloning, how we can trust anything happening around us? How we can trust that Muhammad, he saw Jibreel? Actually, Muhammad, he claimed that shaitan, he come to him in the image of Jibreel and he called him Al-Abiyad. There's a shaitan, Muhammad called him Al-Abiyad. Why they call him Al-Abiyad? Because simply he made himself white because Jibreel is white, shaitan is black. So Shaitan Al-Abiyad, he came to Muhammad and he gave him satanic verses. So now by believing in the cloning, look what happened. Somebody can clone to be Jibreel. Someone can claim to be a clone Muhammad. As long as Shaitan, he can clone the same as Allah, he can clone. That means things is messed up. How we will know who from who? Because as you see, Shaitan can clone. Allah can clone and even Jibreel can clone. Isn't it Jibreel? He come in the image of a da guy. His name is Dahil Kalbi. Hmm? Is it? Let us find it. Jibreel. He can come as an image of any man he choose. Read carefully with me. This is not my word and this is Sahih. So don't tell me the game of uh, weak and strong. This is Sahih Hadith. Here we go. This is the reference. It is Sahih. Jibreel, huh? I did not know him more than anyone among you. That was Jibreel, peace upon, peace upon you, who came down in the form of of Dahil Kalbi. Dahil Kalbi was one of the companions of the Prophet. Okay. Look at this cloning game. So now we have two Dahia in the town. We have Dahia the Jibreel and we have Dahia the real Dahia. So now if Dahia the real Dahia, he said, I am Jibreel, people will believe him. He can say anything because now the Prophet he confirmed that Dahil Kalbi exactly the same way Jibreel looked like. <laughs> so if the hell can be come to me and he say I am Jibreel and Allah he made you a prophet I have to believe him because how I will know that this is not Jibreel he look exactly like the he's a man he look exactly like him and the one who confirmed that is Muhammad and when shaitan he came to Muhammad in the image of a man or image of, of an angel Jibreel Let's try to find the reference. To the Muslim, they will not say, I'm making things up. You know them. <laughs> you know them, my friend. You know them. All right. Uh, I found it actually. I'm just trying to find an authentic uh, website, Islamic website. No, I can I don't want to post just anything. All right. We are getting closer. This is, we have many tafsir. I mean, we can choose anyone. 
not necessarily just one this is islamweb.net islam library all right this is your muslim website and this is al qurtubi al jami al ahkam al quran the surah of al hajj qawlahu ta'ala wa ma arsalna min qablika min rasul wa la nabi illa idha tamanna we never send the messenger before you or a prophet except when he speak shaitan he put words in his mouth okay let us see what happened in this uh, uh, page it says the following and I'm going to switch by the way to Google translation so Muslims cannot say well it's in Arabic we do not know really what it's saying you know what I mean okay how, how we can uh, can how we can find this All right like where uh, where we can find this story hold on <clears throat> my browser froze perfect I hope I did not lose the battery my no, it's my okay. Now it's working. Here we go. وقال ابن عباس that she and the shaitan and you call it a whole abyad. Can I got at a rasul Allah? He saw Allah who are he was selling them a few sort of Jibreel. Ibn Abbas said, the cousin of Muhammad, that a shaitan who is named Al Abiyad, which means the white, and again they call him the white because he made himself look like Jibreel, because Jibreel is white. A Satan who his name is Al Abiyad, he came to the Prophet or the Messenger in the image of Jibreel. And then he throw in the Muhammad mouth. تلك الغرانيق العلا إن شفاعتها هنا لترتجدوس are the three daughters of Allah which mean Allah Al Azza and Manat their their intercession is a must so Muhammad he worship them now let us see if this is true maybe I'm lying maybe Christian Prince is not being honest I'm going to post the link for everybody in the chat you can save it and I'm going to switch to Google translation now remember Google translation is not necessarily accurate but we have no choice we have to use it you guys don't speak Arabic but for those who speak the Arabic I just post the link for you deal translate to English please before we translate to English what page is that here we go this is so this one again reference to serial call to be page number 74 you see it page number 74 page number 75 we go down all right so page number 77 so we are here we are here and this is all in page number 77 in Tafsir al Qurtubi. just to make it clear now we go to Google translation all right in Google translation we find the following The devil came to him in he was named a devil a devil came to him he was called the white you see the messenger and the, the translation is not 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 good so a devil his name is the white he came to the message of Allah in the form of Jibreel guys do you see it do you see it the devil Ibn Abbas said the devil came to Muhammad and the devil name is the white in the form of Jibreel so look what happened Allah cloned Jesus Jibreel cloned Ahya Shaitan cloned Jibreel what a messed up cult so now how we can trust anyone how we knew that Jibreel, Shaitan did not come to him again and again and again and how we know that this is not Jibreel the one who the first one was Shaitan himself as long as shaitan he can take the image of, a, of an angel and he can come to Muhammad as an angel 
And Muhammad did not recognize him to the point he took what he said. And here, by the way, the story is very stupid. Because let us say, somebody came to me in the shape of somebody. But then he said something to me wrong. I have to worship the three daughters of Allah. But isn't Muhammad from the beginning supposed to be refusing that? How you take it? Muhammad, he take it blindly just because the guy he cloned, he looked like Jibreel. So the stupid cult is beyond imagination. Jibreel cloned Dahya, and we showed you the reference. Allah cloned Jesus. Shaitan cloned Jibreel. Everybody cloning everybody. And now if we go back to the Quran, Okay, he can call me after we finish the please the you know no problem. You can call me, but give me a second, please. Let us uh, finish this. If we go back in the Quran, this verse it's extremely important because it destroys all the claim of Islam. Why? Notice with me, guys. When the Muslim they say that Allah he clones someone look like Jesus. Allah he clones someone look like Jesus, and then it appeared to us. Look, it says here. But it appeared to them so like Isa. So we Christian, we saw someone look exactly like Isa. So is the liar. The Christians are not the liars. Based on the story, the liar is Allah. The cheater is Allah. Allah, he changed Jesus, the real Jesus, by fake Jesus. Allah is a cheater. Secondly, if we go in the post of this Abdul, <clears throat> let us go back. He said, well, Christianity does not exist unless Christians believe the fact that Jesus did not die in the cross <clears throat> and did not rise from the dead based on the careful exposure above. Such undeniable facts in the Bible, but the Bible all of it confirmed that Jesus died in the cross, and the Quran confirmed that you liar. Over the Quran saying it was a fake Jesus. So if you are saying that it was not Jesus, and this is written in the Bible, that's mean the Quran is lying because the Quran says we say we killed Jesus, and Allah made him appear as Jesus, but based on your story. Allah did not make him appear as Jesus and what happened it was something else Jesus was able to escape which mean they put him in the cross maybe but they could not kill him like the, the Ahmadiyya they say he, he ran to India <laughs> and then the fact of the Bible itself says Jesus was not died dead in the cross that's a big fat liar you are a liar every chapter you quote for us saying Jesus died in the cross what a son of a muta you are. But survive in an amazing way. No, the Bible says that he resurrected from that death in the third day, you liar. What survive in an amazing way? And then he said, <clears throat> Paul said in First Corinthians that if Jesus did not die and risen, well, our faith is in vain, but the Quran confirmed that Jesus died and he was risen. And this is what the disciple of Jesus witnessed. And even this is what even the mother of Jesus see witness. Because she was in the front of the cross. So if Allah, he made Jesus appear in the, in the cross for the mother of Jesus and even his mother, she could not recognize that this is not him. That's mean the clone is absolute perfect. And then he says, Have you not been able to argue? No, I was not able to argue, my friend. I don't read the text, all of it. I don't read all the comments. I have thousands of people, they come into me. Just wait for your spanking. Here we go. Your turn, time. Come. So the Quran confirmed that there was a crucifixion, but it was a cloning. And the Quran confirmed that everybody was there. He believed this was Jesus. But it was a cloning. Read with me, Abdul. And because of their saying, we killed the Messiah. So what the Jews believe? They killed the Messiah. 
This is what the Jews believe. And not only the Messiah, he is the son of Maryam. So they are sure he is a son of who? Not only just a guy in the cross. Which means they knew him, they knew his family, they knew where he's from, and they are sure. And not only that, your stupid Quran confirmed that this is the messenger of Allah, which means the Jews, they knew that he is a messenger of Allah. So how foolish of you to say this has not happened because Allah says it does happen. But they killed him not, nor crucified him, but it was resemblance of Isa. So thank you very much. That's mean everybody was there. He witnessed the crucifixion of the resemblance of Jesus. That is mean Jesus was in the cross. How many options in this earth to see someone in the cross look exactly like someone? That's impossible. And who in the world would believe in somebody came 600 years after he was not there to say it was not Jesus? Uh, 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 uh. And then we need to ask ourselves, why the stupid Allah, he waited for 600 years to tell the Christians it was not Jesus, it was someone else. Why Allah did not send Muhammad right away after? Say, hey, you guys, this is not Jesus. And look, you quote, you, you quote for me, First Corinthians, where it says that Paul said, if there is no crucifixion, there is no resurrection, there is no Christianity, thank you. So Allah created the Christianity. Because Paul believed in Jesus and he was willing to die for the sake of Jesus and all his disciples. Based in what they saw in the cross. So Allah is a murderer. He fooled the disciple of Jesus. And look here at the stupidity. The disciple of Jesus who witnessed the death of Jesus. Why they were killed. Why they were willing to sacrifice their life if there's no Jesus anyway. If a Christianity does not exist, if there is no resurrection, if there is no crucifixion, that's what the verse says in front of us. So why those people, they were willing to give their life, that means they are sure, to the point they are willing to die one by one. Some they were killed, crucified, crucified upside down. Some they feed them to the animals. Some they beat them and they kill them by, by I mean, they, it's what terrifying death and yet they never deny Jesus. Why they are willing to do that for somebody Something nothing, nothing, never happened. Imagine I know that Jesus did not die, and then you say to me, I will kill you if you don't say Jesus did not die. Say, I don't believe in Jesus, and I will let you go. And I say, no, 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 I believe in Jesus, kill me. A person who is willing to die for the sake of his faith, he must be a true believer. And those are first-hand witnesses who were there. So the stupidity of the Quran proved to us that Muslims like that, this guy, who was named, what's his name? Wahawawu Wahawiwo Wahayu Nur Ihsan I mean, look, the first, the first part of the name is in Indonesian, the second part is in Arab. What happened? They download you from Arabia, half file? Because you are a clown of Islam. Islam hijack your identity. You don't want to call yourself an Indonesian no more. So half of you is a, actually it's not half of you, little, little of you is Indonesian and the rest are Arab now. So the Quran, based in the story here, and based in the post of this Abdul, he just said that the one who created the Christianity is Allah, so Allah is the devil. Because if Allah did not resemble Jesus, no Christianity, no resurrection, no crucifixion, and nobody believe in Jesus as we are now. Do you understand, guys? People, do you understand? Why we believe that Jesus is God? First Corinthians from his post says why. You see it? This is his post, this idiot. If a Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless and our faith is useless. So who is the one who created Christianity? Allah, based in the stupid book of the Quran. What made Paul and John and Luke 
and those are the disciples of Jesus believed that Jesus was on the cross. Allah, do you see it? So the stupidity of the Muhammadan is beyond imagination. They try to prove us wrong, but by doing that, they prove us right. Because the Quran confirmed what is written in the Bible is true. Why? Because the Quran says that we killed the Messiah and Allah, he made it appear to them. So what they saw, they wrote. What Luke he saw? What Matthew he saw? What John he saw? According to Muhammad, they saw Jesus on the cross. What the mother of Jesus saw? Jesus on the cross. What the Jews they saw? Jesus on the cross. So they wrote what they saw. And that's mean the Christians are honest and they did not tell a lie. Now, it's your duty to prove that the one who was there in the cross was a clone. And who in the world will believe in such a stupid story? Which we showed you that Islam obviously believe in an incarnation that anyone can clone anyone. Jibreel, he was cloned. Allah, he cloned Jesus. Jibreel, he cloned the Hil Kalbi. And by the way, Muhammad, he told them that genies and shaitan, they can come to you in any image they wish. They can come to you as a dog, black dog, any black animal, snake, etc. So shaitan, based on this case, he can come to us as an angel and he can fool us and he can now come to me, appear in front of me and he say, hey, Christian prince, you are a prophet of Allah and you will squeeze it three times. And after being squeezed three times, I have to believe now that I am a prophet of Allah. So do you see how stupid, how silly the claim of this Muhammadan? Look, the verse in the front of us says, not only he resembled him, he put another man and they killed that man. So death happened in the cross. Do you see it, guys? Death had happened in the cross. Okay, death of who? Of someone look exactly like Jesus according to the Quran so there is a crucifixion there's death and the one who die he have the voice of Jesus the eyes of Jesus the body of Jesus to the point his mother she could not recognize him that he's not Jesus and then you stupid you try to prove to us that Jesus wasn't crucified when your God Allah, he says, no, he was, but it was a clone. What do you mean with the source? So all the time we are talking, you are saying to me what the source? I mean, what's wrong with people? So I'm talking for the last hour. You are asking me, where is the source? So what we were doing? Oh, don't tell me you just entered the movie from the end and you ask what happened. <laughs> it's funny when you ask me what is the what is the source. I'm talking about the source for the last uh, uh, hour. I showed you how Allah He sent Jibreel and Jibreel He was a cloning Dahil Kalbi, and this is the Hadith, Sahih. We showed you from Al Qurtubi. How Shaitan he cloned Jibreel, and this is Al Qurtubi. Page number, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, uh, it was in page number fifty-seven. Let us see. Hold on. Satan. His name is Al Abiyad. Okay, hold on. Let us let us get it again. <laughs> anyway, I, I posted the link. Didn't I post the link, guys? I posted it in the chat. I posted the link in the chat, but let me grab it again. No problem. I mean, people are funny. Look like I have to repeat myself 24 hours, seven days a week. All right. This is Al Qurtubi, page number 74, 75. And then here it says the following.
وقد قال ابن عباس أن شيطانا يقال له الأبيض كان قد أتى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في صورة جبريل عليه السلام The Book of Al-Qurtubi Page number 74 Value number 12 Page number 74-75 actually And we did translate the page into English Now for sure a Google translation is not accurate But what we can do you guys You don't speak Arabic So a devil who his name is Abiyad which means white, came to the message of Allah, peace be upon him, in the form of Jibreel. Do you see it? So how we can trust this stupid cult? Everybody clone everybody. I told you why he called it Abiyad, because he cloned Jibreel. What's wrong with people? Why are you not listening? The reason they call him Abiyad, because he come as a white Jibreel. Jibreel is white man. And Jibreel is a white angel when he have wings too. So he, in order to make to, to make us believe in this story, the Muslim they have to say, okay, he was a white. This is why he believed is Jibreel. So he come in the image of Jibreel, as you see, it's in the same, even in the stupid Google translation it says he come to him in the form of Jibreel. Now another person will come and says, where is the source? People are blind. Where is the source? He will go to the source in the front of you. This is your books. So how we can trust Islamic religion? If Allah himself is a liar, he clone. Shaitan he clone. Allah he clone. Jibreel he clone. I'm going to open a cloning company. I'm going to clone Allah. I'm going to clone Jibreel. And I'm going to clone Shaitan. And I'm going to create a new cult. It's called the cloning cult. All the books in the Bible speak every verse he quote for us every chapter he quote for us all of it is about the crucifixion of Jesus but this Abdul he thought because I did not answer because I'm busy I have thousands of people who make comment you think I'm going to answer everybody you must be a fool So based on the Quran, just to make it short, we are people who are sharing the truth because we, we believe in the resurrection. And the Quran says that in chapter 3, verse number 55. Allah will terminate your life, Jesus. The Muslim, they lie in the translation as they much as they want, but they cannot do that with us. We speak Arabic. Arabic is our first language. We are the Arab, not the Muhammadan. When Allah said, Oh Jesus, I am terminating your life and raising you to me. How you say Jesus was not died and he was not resurrected. Allah resurrected him. They are death, dead. Still, he have to resurrect him. And the other verse in the Quran confirmed to us that Allah is a cheater, Allah is a liar, and yes, they killed Jesus. Because who in the world want to believe in the cloning story? Who is the fool who will believe in such a story? Cloning. I will go right now, I will kill somebody, and then the judge will ask me, Did you kill this guy? I say no. Say so there's witnesses. There's, there's 10,000 witnesses. They saw you killing him. I say it was my clone. Allah, he cloned me. And I will show him this verse and the, the judge will believe me. People will die laughing at me. And we are dying laughing at you. Believing in such a garbage. In chapter 19, verse number 33, let us go there first. Now we are done spanking this Abdul. There's no need for more, but just to give you more information, just for sharing, for those who they are seeking knowledge. All right. 
If we go in the Quran, uh, it says, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah. This is chapter 19. We will see in verse number 39, it says the following. Let us go there. Actually, 33, sorry, not 39. And peace on me on the day I was born and the day I die and the day I raised up to life there is peace always with Jesus now there is something funny we did not mention the Quran speak that Allah he sent Jibreel to Muhammad And Jibreel he defended the Prophet in the war time when they tried to kill the Prophet Jibreel he came and he have with him three thousand angels all of this to defend Muhammad but later we find that Muhammad he died by little poison. If we are the Muslims, was Jibreel the guardian and the supporter of Jesus all the time? They would say yes. Where we can find that? Here. Jesus, according to the Quran. Was always accompany Jesus. Uh, sorry, uh, the, the Holy Spirit was always a company of Jesus wherever he go. Chapter two, verse number two fifty three. Chapter five, verse one ten. Hmm? Who is the supporter of Jesus? Chapter two, verse number eighty seven. Who is the protector of Jesus? The Holy Spirit. Wherever Jesus goes, the Holy Spirit is with him. Okay. The Jews, they want to kill Jesus. And now Jesus, he has the strength of the Holy Spirit, which is an angel of 600 wings, according to Islam. Who needs this stupid cloning? Can the army of the Roman fight? I mean, they send a couple of uh, soldiers to arrest Jesus. Where is Jibreel? The guy who have 600 wings and he blocked the horizon, can Jibreel protect Jesus? Obviously he cannot. Suddenly Jibreel is a potato. In the story of Jesus, you will see that Jesus, when they came to arrest him, one of his disciples, Peter, he took his sword and he cut the ear of the soldier. Jesus, he put it back. The Muslim, he says, Jesus, he asked his disciple to buy swords. So now why he changed? He's changed the strategy. Give yourself so you can win. How stupid statement. This is the strategy. He just put his ear back. What he said simply, that this is a policeman. This is not a, a criminal. Why you are attacking him? He's just doing order. This is a soldier. He's been given an order to take me to court. He is not a thief. He is not a criminal. So he said to him, the one who take by the sword, by the sword, will it be taken? Otherwise, Jesus, he can step back and says his men fight, 
either his men die or the soldiers die. But the Muslim in the post, he said, Jesus, he studied it. He said to himself, those are trained soldiers. So this is not a good fight. My men, they will not win. Stupid of you. Because as you see, Jesus, he did stop Peter after he cut the ear of the man, which means almost he cut his neck. And the soldiers could not cut the ear of Peter. Secondly, after Jesus, he put the ear to the soldier back. Can you ima imagine how much the soldiers will be amazed of what happened? So they will not fight really, but they have to do their duty to arrest this person. So the Messiah is a sponsor by the Holy Spirit, yet Allah, he cannot save him unless he send the limousine and he do the cloning. Question. If Allah will take Jesus up to heaven anyway, why you need to do the cloning? I mean, are they going to chase him? Maybe Allah was buying some time because his car was slow. He was afraid the Roman, they will chase Jesus, the limousine. If you are going to take it up, take him up to heaven, why, what is he cloning for? You just say to me, from 1 Corinthians, if there's no crucifixion, there's no resurrection, there's no Christianity. Thank you. So Allah is the one who created Christianity. Abdul, we die laughing at your stupidity when you try to attack a Christianity. It's a stupid. Same time, if we read the Islamic interpretation for the story about Allah cloning Jesus, why you Muslims have tons of stories, none of them match the story? One story says that when the Jews enter, sorry, when the Roman they enter to arrest Jesus, or sorry, not the Roman, the Jews, sorry, because as you see, the Quran says the Jews they killed him, not the Roman, which is a mistake, because the Jews did not kill him; it was the Jew, it was the Roman. Uh, one of the stories says when the Jews they came to arrest Jesus, he was with his disciple, all of them. Allah, He made all His disciple look like Him. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> There's 12 Jesus now, not one. <laughs> That's mean. Okay, just to go with the stupidity, let us say they enter the room and they found that there is 12 people look like Jesus. I mean, what's the problem? They will take them all and kill them all. <laughs> I mean, what a big deal. <laughs> as long as one of them is Jesus, okay, take them all and kill them all. <laughs> what a cartoon. What a stupid cartoon. As long as they've been ordered to arrest Jesus, and all of them, they look like Jesus. Okay, we will arrest them all and kill them all. In either way, we kill Jesus. He is one of them. <laughs> You know, in China, they say he left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. And that is the story. We have a bunch of donkeys trying to prove to us that they are horses. Go and love your, your Quran. The sperm coming from the breast of the women, the sperm of the man coming from the backbone. A, a, a God who don't remember which one he created first, the earth, the heaven, the trees, the mountains, the, 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 the stars. Tons of very stupid stories, flying carpet, talking, whatever. Uh, uh, Suleiman, he have a ring, control the genie, the genie built for him, they die for him. The shaitan, they step with his wife, they did boom, boom. Go and laugh at your religion. So everything in your book is against what you just say to us. Now the most important question. We did not ask this question yet. Why Allah He took Jesus to heaven? I challenge any Muslim to tell me why. Why not Muhammad? I mean, Muhammad is the greatest. Muhammad he died by poison. Why Allah did not clone Muhammad so someone else will look like Muhammad and die instead of Muhammad? 
question I think it's a very important question the Jewish woman is the one who killed Muhammad okay the Jews they want to kill Jesus what Allah did he cloned Jesus all right that's wonderful the Jews they want to kill Muhammad what happened Jesus die sorry Muhammad die by what by poison why Allah did not clone Muhammad and save Muhammad and why Allah did not take Muhammad to heaven Muhammad he died the Muslim did not bury him for three days maybe they were hoping that he is the same as Jesus Muhammad said to them that we prophets our bodies will never decay so the Muslims they waited for his body to go to heaven maybe and they believe that he will never decay so we can leave him out for a for a thousand year but after three days Ibn Abbas said Al Abbas bury your friend for he stink the same as all mankind stink so Muhammad he made a false claim that the body of the Prophet never decay as you see and this is a Sahih Hadith so why the body of Jesus never decay and why the body of Jesus never die and why Jesus in heaven and why Allah did not protect Muhammad who died by poison as if he's a rat why all good things happen to Jesus all bad things happen to Muhammad why Jesus now is right in heaven watching us listening to us laughing at the Muhammadan while Muhammad is dead in the grave the answer is very simple the Muslim they will say to you Jesus is coming back Muhammad is not Jesus will rule the whole world how he will rule the whole world Hakaman Muqsitan Hakaman Muqsitan and the proof in front of you that Jesus must be God Jesus his mission is not over according to Islam he will come to this earth to practice justice justice of God and he will be the judge no one else and actually Jesus says I am the judge he says I will judge all of you so Muhammad he confirmed and this is Sahih so don't tell me this is this is Al-Bukhari this is Sahih Muslim all is Sahih so he will come and he will be judge and justice how Jesus is a man human but he can be judge of justice that's impossible for no man is perfect in order to be judge of justice I have to be God for only God can perform absolute justice the second you say he is just and he is judge you just confirm that Jesus coming back as God and then here Muhammad he gets silly again Jesus will kill the cross which cross is that the column of electricity in front of my house what cross that's stupid and then Jesus will kill the pig which big and why so now Jesus he have a three missions he will be judge he will be just and he will kill the swine is that judge of justice I mean is that is that just to kill the pig little pig what he did to you just to kill him for this why by the way because they save the millions of lives including Indonesia all the stitches done for you if you have a surgery ever is made from the flesh of pigs if you don't believe me go and search right now in Google insulin for those who have diabetes most of it is coming from pigs have you ever kissed your wife when you kiss your wife you are kissing lips a stick that is made from pork nice to meet you have you ate chocolate a big percentage in the chocolate is made from pork what what's wrong with this religion
So Allah did not protect Muhammad, Allah protect Jesus. Muhammad died like a rat, Jesus never die. You just confirmed to me that Jesus God. I will tell you this story. I was sitting with two Egyptian Muslims. One of them is an old man. He spoke to me before about religion. The other one is younger, but he is not that young. I mean, younger than the other one. Both of them, they are adult mature. Muslims, when they see somebody is a Christian, they cannot take it, especially if it's an Arab. So he said to me, well, you know what? You Christian believe that Jesus is the son of God. The other guy, he said to him, he hit him in the under the table with his shoe. He said, don't go there. The guy, he said, it's okay. It's okay. We are talking in a friendly way. The guy, he says to him, trust me, don't go there. You don't want that. The other guy did not listen. I said, it's okay. Let him ask the question. No problem. Now, the old guy, he was unhappy because he knew he spoke to me before. And the reason he's saying to him, don't go there, because he knew that this guy, which is me, is going to spank you and he will leave his five finger print in your, over your bum. So look what this Abdul said to me. If Jesus is a son of God, shouldn't his father save him? This was the question. So that's... That's a very good logic. I really like it. You know what? I never thought about this before. Say, say, say the question again. He said, "Okay." Like he got excited. He got really excited. Like he was like he was like a little little cat, and you you put your fingers under her neck, and she like, <laughs> you know, like she is so happy. So he said, uh, uh, "Well, <laughs> okay. If Jesus is a son of God, shouldn't his father, which is God, save him?" I said, "Thank you." You just confirmed that Jesus is God. He said, how? He said, well, isn't it in Quran, Allah, he saved him? So if he is a son of God, according to you, he must be saved. In the Quran, it says he was saved. He started shaking, and the other guy, he said to him, see, I told you, don't go there. I told you, why you don't listen? Oh, go ahead, answer him now. Answer him. Both of them are Muslim. The adult, the, the, the older, he said, okay, answer so him, answer him now. Don't, don't, what are you go answer? He don't know what to say. He starts saying, uh, no, no, according to Christianity, I said, doesn't matter. This is your logic. If Jesus is the son of God, that's mean in Islam, Jesus must be the son of God. In Christianity, he's not. So if I convert now to Islam, I have to believe that Jesus must be the son of God, according to you, because Jesus was saved. His father saved him. So Jesus is so dear to God. To the point he saved him and Muhammad is not he died by poison any Muhammadan have a comment and this is why I say always don't try to prove Islam wrong by quoting your Bible. Like today I was reading some from verses. I know the Muslims are not listening usually. I know they are brainwashed. But I'm here to teach the Christians first, not the Muslims. Christians do not know how to answer them. Muslims, when they question, they are not questioning to learn. They question to question. What does that mean? He asks you a question, and before you answer it, he is he have another question in his tongue because he's not listening. So he's not asking to learn. You see, why the Muslims don't make fun of the Christians believing that Mary was virgin? I mean, this is really weird. I never heard of a Muslim saying, uh, how you can believe in this crazy stuff? This is crazy, man. Just because the Quran says she was virgin, nobody dared to question it. This is the whole story. If Muhammad he said Jesus died, Muslim will say Jesus died. If Muhammad said Jesus son of God, Muslim will say he's son of God. They are the slaves of Muhammad. Nobody questioned the stupidity of the one who said that, which is Muhammad. If we ask the Muslims, who is the Holy Spirit? They say Jibreel. Who said that? Muhammad. Where? Not in the Quran. He said that in the hadith. But how Jibreel is a holy and he is a spirit. I thought only God is holy. 
And why he is a spirit? Isn't he created from light according to the Quran? Allah is light. That's mean Allah have a spirit. The Muslim they say no. As long the angels are made of light, and the light is made the light of Allah, that's mean they have the nature of Allah. So why Allah ordered them to bow down to Adam when they commit sin and they accuse Adam of doing mis uh, And by the way, when the Muslim translate verses in the Quran, always they lie. And when she married, she guarded her virginity. This is what the Quran is saying. Virginity. Well, nice to meet you, virginity liar. It says, The one who guarded her vagina. What a stupid cult. What a rude cult. This is God saying, guarded her vagina. Huh? And here, by the way, you notice how stupid this statement. Not only how rude, because does that mean if she did, she uh, if if a woman she guarded the front part, the vagina, but she did not guard the part which is the back, she is a decent woman. You know what I'm talking about, right? What does that mean? And then it says, "We breathe into her of our spirit." How you can breathe the spirit of our spirit? So what you take from the spirit, two gallon of his spirit, and you put it in, what do you mean? We breathe into her from our spirit. And as long as Jesus have the spirit of Allah, that's mean he's holy. Because where the spirit is coming from? Of Allah. If Allah is God and he's holy, Jesus must be holy. He cannot refute me. This guy is an idiot. Tell him if you are a man, call a Christian prince, be a man. After what he did, he did a big poo poo. We got him busted. Why you can't refute me, the idiot? He just agreed that the one who believed that the world became a man is following the Greek mythology, and we showed him that this is what Muhammad and they believe. This is Islam. So, what he can say? All of them, they refute me. But nobody dared to call me. I'm always refuted. I'm going to change my name and call it the, the refute of the Christian prince. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a Mohammedan? He do not refute me. All of them they do. Right? Allah don't have a spirit. Yes. I mean, Islam is a stupid cult. What you can say? That's our spirit. The Muslim they say Jibreel. But this is mean if Allah created Jesus from Jibreel, that means Jibreel is the creator. Ask the Muslims how they can answer this. They cannot. Who is the one who created Jesus according to the Quran now? Is it Allah or Jibreel? What is the spirit? What is our spirit? They start guessing. Right? Now, I'm going to open my Skype, even if it's getting really old and losing my voice, but just to give a chance, if there is any Abdul, he want to say something. Right? Let us give him a chance. I mean, come on. Maybe Abdul want to call us. So let me open my Skype. Because <clears throat> it's not going to be fair. I mean, we got Islam busted left and right, and then we don't give a chance to any Abdul to say, hey, I want to I wanna say something. I want to get you busted too. Okay, Skype is opening. All right. Look like until now we have zero Abdul. Nobody. Zero Abdul. Very disappointing. So you want to you prove me wrong by debating yourself, posting a YouTube page saying, I, uh, I tell you to Christian Prince. Christian Prince, I tell you. Where are you? Hmm? There's a there's an Indonesian guy. He posted a video of Nader. Uh, what is his name? Nader Ahmad. This guy is a crazy. This is why I don't talk to him. This guy, he said he agreed that the prophet have sex with the goat. 
Are you even proud about this guy? He agree that his prophet has sex with the goat, and this guy is mental. He doesn't know two words in the Quran. This guy, he will go. I want to debate Sam Shamoon. I want to debate. He's, he's a, he have a mental issue. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> you no, know, he cannot see popularity because simply he destroyed himself. The video I made for him. I mean, this guy he will he will be he will be tortured by Muslims for what he said. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Uh, be a man like Mr. Who? Sarah Jivo? Who is that? Be a man like Mr. At Sarah Jivo? Who is that? And why I need to come to uh, to Indonesia, my friend? I got you busted sitting here in my in, in my short. Right now, I'm sitting with my short, and I'm getting Muhammad busted. What do you want more? Why I want to spend money, fly, and, and even risk my life? People want to kill me. Here we go. I do it, and you can do nothing about it. You want to you have an answer for me call me be a man so being a man is a flying there and I know that you have you know Muslims are violent so I go there so you will kill me why I want to do that even your prophet he ran away for his life according to you when he was scared for his life that's mean Muhammad was a coward is it isn't you Muslim you say that he hide in a cave in a cave, small cave, tiny cave. Is it? Is it you Muslim? You say he asked his cousin Ali to sleep in his bed so he can run away. So why you don't ask your prophet to be brave and go to Quraysh when they were there and they are the strong? He ran away. I did not run away from anywhere. I am sitting in my home, and we are in the internet. So why I need to go anywhere? We can do today what nobody can do before. I am right now heard in Indonesia. You like it, you don't, and you can't stop me. And thousands of Christians coming to Christ, Muslims coming to Christ because of the internet. You like it, you don't. I have right now 717 people, even though the number is not too much because it's not the time for me to do broadcast. 717. This is bigger and than any mosque. We are doing great. People downloading our videos, sharing it everywhere, translated to all languages. That's wonderful. Now, if you are brave, call me. <clears throat> all right. And maybe you can clone Jibreel and call me, and that will make you Jibreel because a cloning in Islam is very normal. <clears throat> hmm? Jibreel, he cloned the friend of Muhammad. Shaitan, he cloned Jibreel. Allah, he cloned Jesus. You see, there's a movie, it's called The, the, the Game of the Throne. And they should have changed the name. We should call it The Game of the Cloning. What this cult is about how we can trust anything around us now i might go sleep with my wife and it's not her maybe the goat she cloned my wife thank god i don't have a wife this is why i'm not married maybe because how you know she might be she might be a tree a tree cloned my wife because in this cult everybody clone everybody how we can trust anything today nothing Allah he cloned Jesus, Jibreel he cloned the Hill Kirby, the friend of Muhammad, just because he's handsome. But obviously, by the way, the reason Muhammad he said that Jibreel he come to him in the image of the Hill Kirby because he used to spend the night with this man and he wanna obviously there's something fishy between them. So, in order to tell his wife why he is staying all night with this guy, he told him, This is Jibreel, Jibreel, my friend. 
This is not him. This is Jibreel. <laughs> is that right? Yes, brother. This is Jibreel, brother. But but he look exactly like Dahia. Yes, he look like Dahia, but this is Jibreel. Okay, how now we know who is Jibreel? The true Jibreel and who is Dahia? Hmm? Did Jibreel come to Moses in the image of uh, a Jew who Moses he knew his name is Dahia too? Did Jibreel come to Jesus in the image of Dahia? Hold on, guys. Jibreel is coming to me. Jibreel right now is in the front of me, and you will not believe he is coming in the image of who? Brother. Let me introduce to you Jibreel. How we can trust anyone? And not only that. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Uh, Mr. Trump, thank you. He liked the job. He will leave the president now and he will be, make himself Jibreel. I mean, how stupid silly this cult is. So as long as Jibreel, he come in the image of somebody. Shaitan, he come in the image of Jibreel. Allah, he cloned Jesus. Okay. How we can trust Allah? Because obviously Allah is not controlling anything. Shaitan, he can clone his angel. Angel can clone us. Allah can clone. That's mean we have three cre cre uh, cre uh, creators. You know, when you say that Shaitan, he can clone Jibreel, that means he's a creator. Because this is a creation to take a form of a human or an angel that is a creation you are recreating yourself is that correct guys don't insult the Messiah Keith I will ban I will ban you how we can trust the stupidity How we can trust it? If Shaitan can clone Jibreel, how we know that Jibreel was not Jibreel? Maybe from the beginning to the end it was Shaitan. If Jibreel he cloned Dahya, maybe Dahya was not Dahya. Maybe my mom is not my mom, mom. she's Jibreel. Maybe my dad is not my dad, maybe he's Allah. I mean, do you see how amazing this religion, brother? If we can call it religion, this is the most silly, stupid cult ever you can imagine. So they try to prove us wrong, but each time they do that, they prove us right. This is what happened with this guy. What's his name? The 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 guy who claimed to be a sheikh from Indonesia, and we we fried him with no with no oil. If you saw him for him, actually, my fingerprint will stay in his bum for the for, for the until he die. Each time I finish the uh, broadcast, and I have to wash my hands. I mean, it smell disgusting, spanking, spanking, spanking. I mean, this is disgusting, really. I mean, I wish for once I would do different job, not spanking. Who's next? Do we have any next? Can you tell me how you respond to someone who says Quran is the most equivalent book 
Ava written Arabic. You know, Fadi, you speak Arabic. How do you say that? Fadi? Come on. You see, this is good for somebody. He don't speak Arabic. You speak Arabic. Quran is the most stupid book, full of errors. Okay, Fadi, let me ask you. Have you ever heard in Arabic in something called Bism? Bism, Bism. Do you say Bism or Bism? What do you say? The first verse in the Quran is a mistake. This is a uh, uh, the amazing Arabic. There is nothing in Arabic. Bism. Go right now, search on Google. There is no Bism. It is Bism. How this is can be amazing. This the first word is wrong. Even the Quran itself agree. If we type the word Bism, you will see it coming correctly in different places. Do you see it? Chapter 56, verse number 74. Do you see BSM? Do you see how it is? This is the correct one. Look, look, this is the correct one. This is the correct one. Now, as long as you are saying the Quran is amazing. Guys, which verse, which verse in the Quran says you can eat in your father's houses? Somebody remind me, please. Which verse? Which chapter? <clears throat> Where in the Quran it says you can eat in your father houses and your mother houses and your sister houses and your houses 2461 I mean do you see how amazing the Quran is not only the language is stupid you would die laughing God he went to the bathroom he spent his day thinking about sending us a verse and then he wrote it in the tablet and what it says you can eat in your house That's amazing, brother. I, I never learned this before, by the way. I mean, I never thought I can eat in my house. I learned only when I read from Allah. I thought I can only uh, eat in the house of the neighbors. Hmm? Are you there, Fadi? Do you want to call me and read it in Arabic so we can laugh together? This is what God is about. There's no blame. There's no blame in the blind. Nor blame in the lame. Nor any blame in the sick. Nor in yourself. For eating in your homes. Like what the heck? Do you need to say blind and lay and say all of you you can eat in your home and by the way where where the blind eat usually in the restaurant there's no restaurant where they will eat Allah telling the blind you can eat in your home thank you very much Allah telling me I can eat in my home why at that time there was McDonald hmm I'm singing the Quran, beautiful. No lame to eat in your father's homes or your mother homes. Let me call my mom. The driver answer. TB, I told you once at the time, don't call me here. Uh, Zakir Naik, what are you doing there? I'm working as a driver for your dad. Uh, Zakir Naik, uh, do my dad know that you are Zakir Naik? Absolutely, he knew. And this is why he hired me because you were looking for a stupid idiot who know nothing, he understand nothing. So when you speak in the phone about the stock market, I will have no idea. Uh, Zach and I, hold on. Uh, but don't do anything bad, okay? Do you know how to drive? I'm driving your father crazy. You believe it or not? The same as you drive me. I'm taking revenge from you. You're driving my father crazy. What do you do? When he gets in the car, he said to him, Bismillah. And your father said to me, Don't say that. We will have an accident. And right after that, we have an accident. Zachary, see? Don't say that. Zachary, are you there? I have an accident. <laughs> this is the religion of Allah. Hmm? By the way, Zachary did not work as a driver. Just I just made it up. 
<laughs> because some people they might say hey Christian Prince he claimed that Zach and Nike he, he work as a you know them you know them and whatever I say even if it's a joke they will they will make a video about it hmm <clears throat> Any Abdul? Somebody's asking how you can make it up that fast. Well, I have a brain. Not everybody have it, maybe. How I can make it up that fast? I make it up. Okay. Ask God who created me. Have you seen the movie, The Message? Why well, I want to see a movie, my, my friend. What movie? You want to make Islam look nice by a movie? Did you show in the movie how Muhammad he cut a woman to pieces? She's over the age of 80 by tying her legs to different camel. Did you show in the movie Muhammad having a wife? She is six years old. Did you show the movie that the Muslims accuse Muhammad that he stole an underwear? What movie? I don't learn about Christ from a movie. I don't learn about Muhammad from a movie. And anyone who learn about his belief from a movie is a fool. It's a movie. Propaganda. The director, he can change whatever he wish. Right? And those actors, they are willing to take off their panty for the sake of a penny. They get naked in the front of the screen for money. So they would do anything. They brought they brought famous actors just to deceive. That this is the purpose. They bring European famous artists money. Al-Qazafi, he paid him how much, how much you want. Just took the movie. Anthony Quinn, how much you want. Okay. Money, all right? But not all people for sale, my friend. <clears throat> and we are not for sale. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to call me? So, Fadi, what happened? Did you decide to leave Islam or not? <clears throat> you disappeared for some time. Did you decide to leave Islam, Fadi? <clears throat> Are you out of Islam or not yet? Mayday, Mayday. Where is Jibreel? I want to debate Jibreel. Why Jibreel? He don't clone Mimi Hijab and debate me. Because as long as Jibreel, he cloned Dahir Kalbi, he can clone anyone. He can clone Zakir Naik. How we can trust that Zakir Naik is Zakir Naik? Now maybe he's Jibreel. Correct, guys? How we can now trust that this is Zakir Naik? Maybe this is Jibreel. You never know. And by the way, they look the same. <clears throat> You call Asim Khan. What is your ID in Skype, uh, Asim Khan? What is your ID, my friend? By the way, always I suspected that, uh, uh, like this guy, uh, Zakir, Zakir Naik is not is not normal. He is Jibril. He must be Jibril. And I'll, I'll explain to you. This is Zakir Naik, brother. Do you notice the similarity between him and Jibril? Maybe you did not notice. Look at his mouth. Don't in the Muslim they keep saying Lu, Lu Muhammad, Lu. Okay, here this is this is a proof to us that this is Jibreel. Jibreel always he put his finger up like this, and that finger exactly. And this is the same finger the prophet he used to clean his boogers, and the same finger he was cleaning the Kaaba. I can show you the reference. Now you Muslim wanna challenge me? And then here we notice that Zakir Naik he have a white beard. The only problem Zakir Naik he have to be Jibreel, he is not white. And you know, Islam is a racist cult. 
you have to be white but maybe Jibreel here he try not to be known this is why he is not coming as a white man let us say he's hiding his identity very smart move what do you think because I suspect this beard is weird I mean this beard doesn't make sense this poor guy is trying to grow his beard is not a growing he tried to make a beard but it's not working I wish I had a beard like this if I shave at night I wake up in the morning I have a beard you believe it I'm sick of it I take a shower every day before I sleep I wake up in the morning I have a beard And I'm not going to tell you how long it is in the morning. True story, brother. True story. Say Bukhari, 20 foot, brother. In the more in eight hours, grow 20 foot. Do you know why? Because we use uh, miracle grow, which is fertilizer, brother. Made in Pakistan, not Pakistan, Pakistan. Uh, Asim, he's saying to me, Come here, come here. Where, Asim? Where, Asim? Where are you? Under the chair? Asim is saying to me, come here. Where? Where, uh, Susu? I, I will go where? I, I could not find you. Why you don't text me? You can text me in Skype. Give me your ID in Skype. I will text you. Come here. Here where? Hmm? Imam Mahdi. Uh, it just uh, you know tons of stories, but there's nothing. It's called Imam Mahdi. This is Muslim fabrication. They believe he is born of a woman. Her name is Nargis, and she gave birth to him from the side of her thigh, side of her leg, and his poop was like musk, and his piss like Pepsi Cola. And if you are a fool, believe. None of my business. And if he fell in his ass right away, he say, "There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the Prophet." Have you ever heard of this? And he is born with circumcised penis, and he speaks seventy thousand languages, same as Al Hassan Al Hussein. They speak seventy. No, actually, not seventy. Seventy seventy, which means what? Seventy seventy will be seventy seventy thousand. I'm getting dizzy here. Seventy seventy thousand. Any Dahil Kalbi here? Who is here, Jibreel? Be honest with me. Who of you Muslims, he is Jibreel, but he is a cloning himself coming in a nickname in the internet. You never know. We can trust. You know what? I'm thinking maybe Bill Gates is Jibreel. Because look, he's successful. Jibreel was successful. Maybe the owner of Facebook is Jibreel. That's why he keep taking down pages of Christians. Well, Jibreel, he cloned everybody. And actually, I'm suspecting that Trump is Jibreel too. Because look, Islam says Jibreel is very white. Look at this guy, he's blonde, not only white. And look at his mouth, you see? Very much similar to uh, uh, Zach and Nick. You see the mouth here? Look. Ooh, ooh, you know? Ooh, uh, uh, very... Uh, how we can trust this God not only that not only that Muhammad in the hadith it says that Muhammad he imagined himself read with me Abdul please the prophet he was bewitched okay and he began to imagine that he had done a thing in fact he did not how we can trust an, a bewitched prophet who imagined, maybe he imagined that uh, Jibreel was cloned by the Hil Kalbi. How we can trust this man? Maybe he imagined that Jesus was crucified or was not crucified. Maybe he imagined that Jesus in heaven. And this guy he imagined. The bewitched prophet. I'm really convinced that Muhammad must be a prophet because he was bewitched. Only 
people who they are bewitched can be prophet anyone would like to bewitch me so I can be a prophet and how they bewitched him by taking some hair from his body don't ask me from where please it's sensitive information we cannot share it in public it's have to do with homeland security guys what if your wife she takes some of your hair and give it to your mother-in-law and she control you from far away that's really scary what if your neighbor he come and he takes some of your hair like you let's say you go somewhere or you go to the barber or even you go to visit somebody and a hair fell in the couch from your hair he will take it he will control you from far away Hey, can the admin please brush the floor so we can collect the hair from the floor so we can control words people around the world because all what we need is a hair that's what the story says can somebody get me the hair of Trump oh I'm not going to ask for the hair of Sam Shamun now I know why Sam Shamun have no hair mm-hmm he is protecting himself from bewitching I got it I was wondering why this guy always shaved why always is sh but now we know it it's security matter hmm I hope Sam Shamun is listening <laughs> I'm sure he will laugh what is that he was bewitched prophet so all of this coming from a bewitched prophet so all this noise coming from bewitched prophet so if he is bewitched and you are doing this what if he was not bewitched you know according to me according to me i mean my understanding i believe muhammad he is possessed the muslims in order to explain the situation of muhammad and possessed when you are possessed by the way that will affect your mental health so he is mentally ill in the same time he is possessed obviously even Muhammad he says shaitan he command me to do good you know that's how you thrive so when Muhammad he agree that he received command from the devil that is not a statement of somebody he is not suffering from mental illness or possessed do you see it how somebody claiming to be the prophet of God protected by God and then he says shaitan command me to do good and since when shaitan command good I thought shaitan is evil pure evil so there's no way such a person he says such a statement unless he is mentally ill and he is possessed the Muslim explained that that he was bewitched this is the Muslim definition of Muhammad but I see Muhammad not except that he is possessed is a devil is a devil man and you cannot say in the same time Muhammad is just a pure crazy because he make verses says any woman she want to give herself to me anyway obviously this guy he knew what he's doing but he's possessed and I believe the story that Muhammad was bewitched so he imagined himself done thing but in fact he did not maybe Muhammad he is saying that to cover his lies so he says something they get him busted and he say I was possessed or he was I was bewitched you know what I mean so to take away responsibility of my act from me I claim that somebody controlled my action that's logical correct guys because imagine if I can confirm, uh, I can uh, uh, like uh, not confirm, uh, 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 I can make a judge agree that I killed this guy because somebody controlled me. I will get away from my crime. If the judge agree, this guy he was bewitched. If they believe in such a thing, okay, this guy is not a victim. He be he was bewitched. <clears throat> All right. However. In the old days the Arab anyone he have a problem have to do with his action and mentality they claim that he was bewitched 
Let me explain to you more. Muhammad, he takes shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. And I think, Fadi, you called me before we spoke about it, correct? Okay. Even the Muslims, even the Arab, the tribe of Quraysh, who they are better when they are not really that much civil, which means they are not so clean too, but yet they could not understand how he is taking shower, doing a pollution in such a water full of dead bodies of dogs and women rags from menstruation and even garbage you throw in it. Is that a behavior of somebody is normal, Fadi? What do you think? Is that a normal behave to say that, that water is pure and nothing make it not, not pure? You have dead dogs in it. It's a small, tiny water. It's not like we are not talking about a river. We are not talking about a spring of water too. We are talking about a ground in the floor, a, a hole in the ground, and dirty water is gathered from the town because it's a low point of the town. Go all the way there. This is not for drinking. This is not for use. This is dirty water. This is why the Arab are throwing their garbage in it. You see, remember, we are in the desert. People will not throw garbage in the water unless it is a bad, bad water. Because water there is priceless. So how Muhammad he do this? Now you tell me what he did. You can tell me he's possessed. You can tell me he was bewitched. But this is what Muhammad was doing when he's supposedly healthy. Not when he is sick. Do you understand me? So what do you think, Fadi? Are you going to stay as a Muslim? Why you don't call me and you announce that you are out of Islam? Be honest. Is that a prophet of God to be proud of? Did Musa jump in the water full of dogs and women blood from period? I'm going to buy a camera and I'm going to get some dead dogs and put it in my bathtub and some women. I need. I don't have women here. We need donation. Any Muslim actually want to donate some rags from period? Because we want to do an experiment. We want to do the experiment of the cats. The cat who don't walk over the Quran. I want to see if the cat will jump in that water. Even cat will not jump in that water. I thought cats will be happy to see the dogs like ah, 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 you are dead you can do nothing to me no even cat will not jump in this water what this madness is about hmm Any Abdul? I lost my voice, keep saying any Abdul. By the way, at night when I sleep, I don't say any Abdul, just to let you know. Honestly. No, I don't. I say it only when I'm driving. Any Abdul? Any Abdul? No. I should record a tape and just like just repeat you know, in the background. Any Abdul, any Abdul. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -da -dool, la -la -dool, ra -da 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 -da. The Muslim refused me. 24 hours non-stop every day and I'm in the hey Roger Dool Abdul da 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 Dool when where is the Abdul thank God that Muhammad he did not have Santa Claus because what Santa Claus of Muhammad will bring in the box we will have hands of a human cut off fingers heads bombs so a side belt. Thank God there is no Muhammad Santa Claus. Me. Santa Claus, the Muslim, he will sing jungle heads, jungle heads, jungle all the way. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them all the day. Lay That's so beautiful. So beautiful. I feel I want to cry. By the way, the Muslims get upset from their children because they like Santa Claus. In, in the Middle East, we call him Papa Noel. It's a French name, Papa Noel. So they come with a new name. They said, brother and sister, 
don't let your children like the Christian Santa Claus tell him to like and to love Papa Muhammad Papa Muhammad can you put the child in the lap of Papa Muhammad Aisha she was six years old when the Prophet did marry her who is going to trust Muhammad to take picture with him and he is a child Papa Muhammad Huh? What Papa Muhammad? I will never even let him get close to a child. I over my dead body. If Muhammad is in the mall, we will put a sign in his pants. It says not safe. Keep keep a distance. Children's. All right, guys. I think we have enough for today. Don't forget, please, to download the video. As soon as it's ready. It usually takes like 20 minutes. To, to load I will not keep it download it and those who speak uh, Indonesian please I know that translate uh, making subtitle is not really easy job so if you want you can divide the video so it's not going to be a long project make parts you know like whatever you know whatever you wish all right guys so I want to say thank you everybody and my love to all people in Indonesia in Asia and that's why actually I'm here for you I decided to do this broadcast specifically just for those who they are in Asia, specifically Indonesia. Love you all. And the Messiah is our Lord. And He is our Savior. They like it, they don't. He is the truth. A prophet who was bewitched, who swim with dead dogs, and he think water is pure, he must, must be crazy, not only satanic. Muslim believe he was bewitched. They just admitted that he is under the control of the devil. Because bewitched, when you say bewitched Muslim, they say that this is black magic. And Muslim believe black magic is shaitan sh sh who would do that. So how shaitan can control Muhammad? Especially the Quran says that nobody can control any of our servant except the one who follow thee. Speaking to shaitan. Allah saying to Shaitan, you have no authority over my followers. Chapter 15, verse number 42. Except thee who follow thee. So in order to be controlled by Shaitan, you have to be a criminal. And by the way, here translation, translation is wrong, not sinner. al gawin is not the sinners. al gawin is the filthy, bad, ugly criminals. Change the translation, you will see how everything changed. In a second, in the speed of light. Mushrikeen, go the one go astray, the criminals, the evil doers. This is what all we mean. You see it? Just we change the translator. We do not change the book, we just change the translator. That's why we cannot trust Islamic translation. So how shaitan control Muhammad? Place black magic on him. If the Quran says to shaitan, you have no authority over my followers except those who follow thee. So in order for Muhammad to be controlled by shaitan, he have to be following thee, which is shaitan. The whole conversation here supposedly with shaitan. And by the way, even the verse in chapter 15 says that shaitan says to Allah, you did deceive me. You did mislead me. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Shaitan is a victim of Allah. Shaitan is a good guy. This is what Quran teach. Because you mislead me. And just I'm reading for you what the Muslim translation is. This is not mine. Uh... He says that he only believe in the Quran. We are showing Quran, my Abdul. And if you are only believe in the Quran only, okay, can you tell me how much you pay zakah? Can you tell me why you don't do muta? The Quran says you do muta. Can you show me what the punishment of rape in the Quran? Can you show me where is the punishment of uh, uh, stoning to death? What? This is a silly, stupid talk. I believe only in the Quran. And, and the Quran is a stupid book anyway. Call us tomorrow. So we can talk only about the Quran. I promise you. What do you think? Ask him. 
I promise you, I promise you, I pr let me swear. I swear by the beard of Zach and Nick. I was going to swear by the fig. Have you ever heard of a God? You swear by fig? This is the Quran. If we put in the front of your God, tomato, potato, cucumber, and fig, he will swear by what? By the fig. If Allah go to the court, he will not take the Quran with him. He will take fig. Hey, buddy, why do you have a fig with you? Security will ask. Oh, I, I need a fig because I need to take an oath. Oh, why you need to take an oath and a fig? I'm a Muslim. Have you ever heard of somebody <clears throat> taking an oath by the fig and the olive? This is very beautiful. I like fig, by the way. Don't take me wrong. And I love olive too. But to take an oath by the fig, I mean, Allah, the creator of the heaven and the earth. Hmm? Take oath by the fig. That is figgy. By the way, there's a song, very famous song. It says, <clears throat> I swear by the fig and the olive, I swear. I swear. That, that, this is coming from here. Uh, sorry, my voice is tired, really. All right? But <clears throat> God swear by the fig? I mean, come on, you're God. Do you know how small the earth for God? The earth is like a point of dust in this amazing, huge, massive universe. We are like not even a dust. We are not even a dust. And then Allah, he swear by the fig. I mean, come on, swear by a 65-inch TV, by a camel, a fig. Hmm. Do you think of Islam take over the world, they will replace the Quran and the court and they will use fig? That will make the fig price go up, by the way. I'm going to buy a stock market fig. Fig stock market. Just investment. Because then all the Muslims need to buy fig. We walk in the street and we start saying, the fig of Allah, the fig of Allah. Muslims, they say, what are you talking about? Where do you have the fig of Allah? They say, look, Allah, he swear by the fig. And Allah, he will never swear anything unless it is so dear to him. Obviously, Allah, he like fig. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> hmm. Allah was watching from heaven. He says, they have fig. I don't. He miss it. So he said, damn it. I swear by the fig. I'm going to do this. Hmm? It's going to be very embarrassing if Allah swear by whiskey or black label. But thank you, Allah. You did not do that. So anyway, guys, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is our Savior. And as always, we got the liars busted. Download the video. Share it with your friends. Add subtitle. Post it everywhere. And by doing this, you might save the life of somebody. And you receive the blessing of the Lord. Yes, I do the video. Yes, I'm the one who's talking. Yes, I'm the one who's teaching. But when you do the work, it's as if it is your work. When you take the video and you add subtitle, you just receive the blessing of the Lord for doing work for Him. And you never know. Somebody will watch your video. I have I have no idea how many people left Islam because of my videos. Maybe one, maybe zero, maybe ten, maybe a thousand. I don't know. But my Lord, He knew. So by doing such an act, he will receive his blessing because one day he will stand in the front of the Lord. He will say, so what you did all your life? You live all those years, what you did? But you will say, I bought a car. I was busy. Do something for your day. The day will come. The day you will be asked what you did for me. You were serving who all your life? Be the servant of Christ. Because your soul might be taken from you today and you don't have it tomorrow. So do it before it's too late. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord.
Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care.